All right, that's enough. Just enough for her to still be able to, you know, pick her head up out of the water. And we're gonna take her to her new habitat. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, man. I'm back and we doing this thing again, man. We doing it again, man. As y'all might see, we not at the table today. We not doing a reaction video today, man. We doing something a little bit different today, man. Just for my animal lovers. If, if y'all didn't know me in person, you know what I'm saying? Y'all don't know much about me. I am an animal lover, man. Y'all gonna find that out a lot, man. Cause I'm gonna start doing more videos. I'm gonna do some animal videos, showing y'all my animals and everything. But today, I just wanna give y'all a little tour of my new aquarium that I got for my turtle. I got one turtle, she's, uh, she's almost four years old. I had her for four years, man. That's my baby, I love the deal. I spent all my money on them. And uh, of course I got a dog, AC right there. But uh, let, me, let me show y'all what, what we working with over there, man. Right here, this, this right here, I made this on my own. Okay, so this this right here, I made this from scratch. I used some egg crate. This white stuff right here, if y'all don't know what it is, it's called egg crate. You can get it from your local Home Depot or Lowe's. It's a big a big sheet. I forgot the dimensions of the sheet, but it only cost about fifteen dollars a sheet, and it only took one sheet to make this. So it, it really only took fifteen dollars to make this. And then these little black things, these are zip ties. Uh, the zip ties only cost about two or three dollars at the same, you know, Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever. And I got this. This is a 40 gallon breeder. Uh, you know, most you'll hear most people call, just calling it a 40 breeder. But uh, this is a 40 gallon tank. Got it from my local pet store. And uh, it, was, it was pretty, you know, it was a decent price for a 40 gallon tank. It was, I guess, I don't know if it was a sale or if it's just cheap in there, but it was only $90 for this tank, this big 40 gallon tank. And this, I have some like, some, some artificial plants in here um, that I'm just let, I'm gonna let them drift, you know, because I don't use substrate at the bottom. A lot of people will put substrate at the bottom for their turtle. For those, those of you who don't know, uh, you're not supposed to use a real small, like pebbles. The little small seeds at the bottom for a turtle, especially if they're a bigger turtle because they could swallow them and get choked off of them. So you don't want to use those, you want to use like some bigger like marbles or some bigger rock type substrate at the bottom. But I don't do that because substrate just makes it that much more harder to clean the tank. And you know, we don't got time for that. Uh, also right here, I have a UVB. We have a UVB light. Got this UVB light hooked up to the side of the tank. Been had this light, been had this lamp for the the three years that I've, no, the four years that I've had my turtle. I've had these three these lights. And this light right here, this is a heating light. I have it sitting directly on her basking area. So when she gets up here, she'll get all the heat that she needs to dry her shell. And also, um, just for, I'm just like, when I'm when I'm giving like instructions or whatever, if y'all been had turtles, for a while or if you had a fish for a while and you know all this being cool that's what's up y'all let me know that down in the comments if you own a turtle or if you own some fish because i do think i'm going to start a fish tank uh soon you know brie let me put another tank in her living room but uh yeah i do plan on starting a fish tank so if you do have fish let me know what kind of fish and i also i'm thinking about getting either an oscar or a African cichlid to put in a tank with her. The reason why I'm doing those uh, types of fish is because those are a bigger, more you know aggressive fish. Like they're they're more they're not as timid as other fish, and they won't run so fast. And they're a little bigger, so the turtle wouldn't be so much inclined to just chase and eat the turtle. Oh yeah, I have her in this 10-gallon tank right now. <laughs> hey Ace. 
Uh, she's just sitting in the uh, 10 gallon tank overnight so that this tank can cycle. I already, I've already put my dechlorinator in there. You want to make sure that you put a dechlorinator whether you have fish or turtle or both. You always want to put the chlorinator in there. You don't want the turtle in there. Boom, boom, boom. And she got all this chlorine on. She, you don't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? You do, do not want to do that. Okay. So over here I got a, this is a filter for up to, I think, 60 gallons. It'll filter up to 60 gallons. This is a 40 gallon tank. The ideal filter for a 40 gallon tank would be about 80 to 100 gallon filter. You know, you want to have a big enough filter for your turtle because turtles are really nasty. They create a big mess in your tank, so you want to filter that filters a bunch more uh, water than that's actually in your tank. So what I'm going to do in the future, in the near future, I'm going to get a canister filter. If y'all don't know what that is, it's like a little bucket. It's about this big and it sits outside of your tank, maybe below it or on a shelf or something. And it has two hoses, one for intake and one for outtake. So it just, it filters way more uh, water. Also, I just, I told y'all before that I have this, just some, some artificial plants in here. I don't have it to the bottom because, you know, it won't be able to stay because I don't have any substrate. But the reason why I have it floating like that also is because turtles like, turtles get lazy sometimes, you know. They don't want to swim all day. They just want to have something to just, you know, hold on to that'll keep them afloat, you know. And this has a little buoyancy to it, so it'll be pretty good to keep her afloat. Uh... And yeah, man, I just got her some, um, I got her some of these red shrimp. There's some dry shrimp. I'm sure, man, she loves shrimp. She hadn't had shrimp in a while. So I just got her a big container of these, about 6 or $7 from the pet store. Uh, also, if y'all don't know what kind of dechlorinator to get, uh, I got this Appy Turtle Water Conditioner. Uh, you just put, like, and it's so cool, like, yo, this is dope. Check this out. This, the top that goes on it, this is how you measure your chlorine. I mean, your uh, dechlorinator. You just, uh, for however many gallons of water, you use one full top. So I have a 40 gallon tank, so I use four full tops. And there you go. You don't have to do all no guessing. You don't have to do no guessing. You don't have to do no measuring. You don't have to have a tablespoon table at the kitchen. You know, teaspoon at the kitchen, messing up your spoon. There you go, right here. You know? And also I have these uh, filter cartridges, the big boys, the large ones. These are just some backup filters, just until I get the canister filter. Uh, also, I just want to show y'all the tank that she was in. This is a tank she was in recently, most recently. She just, I just took her out of this. It's dirty because turtles are dirty. She's getting, she's got way too big for this tank. So I just had to cash out a little money on my baby, you know what I'm saying, to get her a bigger tank. That's not the last tank I'm going to get her. You know, I'm going to get, like, the reason why I got all these tanks is because I, I love fish in general. So when I take her out of one tank, I set up another tank for, for some fish. So I'm not really losing any money. A lot of people recommend that you don't get, like, smaller tanks as they grow because you'll just be spending money. But I want a lot of tanks anyway. So this is pretty, it's, it's okay, you know. But uh, this won't be the last tank that I get for her. The last tank I get for her will probably be a 75 gallon tank. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. Y'all stay tuned though, we'll see. But uh, yeah, this dirty boy right here got too small for her. So I took her out and uh, got her something new. But uh, we wanna show y'all what this tank is sitting on right now. This tank, this big boy right here, this tank is probably up to about 400 pounds altogether. This, the, the tank, weighs about 50 pounds by itself then i have this on top which adds more weight i have the lamps on and i have i filled it up with water you know so it's probably about a good 400 pounds but the thing about this shelf is each shelf holds 800 pounds so i'm way under the maximum limit of weight ace what are you doing this man. look at him <laughs> ace is playing right now man you don't care about our video. I got this from Home Depot. Lowe's has them as well. Uh, this uh, this started off as gray. This was gray at first. But me and Bree, Bree decided she don't want no gray in her living room. So <laughs> we decided to spray paint it gold because it kind of matched our it matched our curtains and it kind of coordinated with our couch and everything. So we just you know we spray painted it gold. 
if y'all want, I could put uh, I could put a uh, link to this shelf in the description. This shelf was only about sixty nine dollars, which was a steal because at the pet store they were trying to sell me uh, a shelf for about one hundred and twenty four dollars, and I was like, no, 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 we gonna get some discounts. You know what I'm saying? So we got this, and also you can add another shelf on. To it, it actually had four different shelves. So you can add another layer to it. I just didn't because I wasn't gonna have enough room to like, you know, pour my water over into it and everything. I just wanted her to have enough room and everything. But yeah, that's that's it, man. I just wanted to give y'all a little tour of my setup, man. And I'm gonna actually, in a second, I'm gonna actually take her out and put her in here, man, and see how she likes it, man. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is actually because she's in this, she's I guess just a small bit of dirty water in here because I actually used the bucket because I, I don't want her to sit overnight without any water. So I just grabbed some of the water that was in the old tank and I put it in there with her. And then I just put the top on it and put her lights on top uh, so she can be comfortable overnight and everything. So what I'm gonna do now is hopefully she fits in this bucket. I'm gonna put her in this bucket and I'm gonna take her and uh, clean her off a little bit because her shell is pretty dirty. You wanna keep your turtle shells clean. Try to, I say about every month or every other month or every three weeks or something, just try to clean her, clean her shell, you know, or his shell, whatever. And um, yeah, we're gonna clean her off and we're gonna put her in our brand new home, man. If she'll let me grab her, man, she, she kinda, you know, she a little jumpy. She be, you know what I'm saying? She be running, boy. Come on, Frankie. Ooh. Is that her making a noise? Mm-hmm. Ah, get back. Okay, we got her in the bucket. She is not happy about it, so we're gonna try to go ahead and clean her off, and then we're gonna uh, we're gonna clean her off, and we're gonna put her in there. So I'm just gonna give her a quick quick rinse, so I can go ahead and get her out of this. I'm gonna put it on some warm water. You know, I don't really want to put her on real cold water. She is a she is a turtle, and turtles like to live in pretty much warm water. So I'm gonna run a little warm water for her. I'm gonna give her a quick little rinse. Just rinse your shell off with some clean water. All right, that's enough. Just enough for her to still be able to, you know, pick her head up out of the water. And we're gonna take her to her new habitat. Been looking at her all day, like he just been fascinated with her. You ready, Frankie? You ready? There she goes. Oh my God! See it there? Oh my goodness, bro! Check this out, man. She's in there. You like it, Frankie? Hmm? You like it? Yeah, man, she's a she's a pretty good turtle, man. She doesn't really snap at me, but um she doesn't she doesn't snap at me, but I had a friend who you would come Oh, we we still got stockings up on the wall. But anyway, no, pay no attention to the stockings back there, okay? No attention. But, uh, yeah, I had a friend who would, like, because, you know, I would put my hand in the tank. I would just put my hand in here and, you know, pet her head just to try to keep her tamed and keep her used to somebody, you know, handling her and touching her. I used to take her out all the time, let her walk in my hand when she was smaller. Uh, but, yeah, I had a friend who tried to put his hand in there. He, he almost got bit. Like, she snapped at him. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm gonna try to come back. I'm gonna give her some privacy. You know, we're gonna get out of the living room. We're gonna get out of her space and let her chill out for a little bit. And we're gonna try to catch her when she's on her basking dock. 
we're gonna try to catch her when she's up here basking trying to get her shell dry but always remember guys always woo, we a little dark okay always, always remember guys you always want to have heat you always want to have a heating lamp and a uvb lamp the uvb lamps uh helps to give the turtle the nutrients at, as like it substitutes for the sun for her being in the sun so if she doesn't have that and she doesn't have the heat to dry off completely she also needs somewhere to get all the way out of the water 100 percent not the little dock that has her halfway in the water and halfway out because if that's the case she won't be able to dry her shell completely and get rid of all the bacteria on her shell and also her shell could get soft like if you don't if they don't if they're not able to dry their shells properly their shells can get soft because she's a red ear slider by the way her the breed of turtle the species of turtle she is she's a red ear slider and they are not 100 percent uh marine turtles they have to get out of the water and bask for plenty of hours a day so we'll try to see we'll try to come back and see what she working with see if she didn't got look comfortable enough in her new uh habitat to get up there on the basket dog we're gonna see if she figure it out and then i'm gonna try to get the footage for y'all man but yeah here she is right now she's coming to the top for some air yeah she's liking it man at least i like to think she's liking it because i work so sorry I'm, I'm talking too much for her. I just put her shrimp in the water. She's going ham right now. Ah, the reflection. She love that. Okay, y'all. So I call her basking, man. I call her basking. I'm finna show y'all. I'm try to go as, as slow as I can. Again, forgive those stockings still up there. We're gonna take them down some. But I'm gonna try to go over there as slow as I can so I don't scare her. And then normally with me, when I when I get close, she's okay. But if somebody else comes close, she'll jump right into the water. But I'm gonna try to let y'all see. I'm gonna zoom in from far first. To just let y'all see her on the basking dock. Oh yeah. Let me see if I can walk up on her without her jumping in the water. As long as you don't get too close up on her, she's okay. She's just doing some basking now, man. I don't wanna make her jump back in the water if she's not completely finished drying it's no telling how long she's been up there because i'm just getting off work this is actually the next day i couldn't even catch her last night when i first started the video That's my my new setup for my baby. My new setup for my baby. And look, y'all just need to let me know if y'all like these type of videos, man. If y'all like seeing my animals and everything, man. Y'all just let me know, man. Because I got some more stuff I'm, I'm about to do. So if y'all want to see all that, if y'all want me to update y'all on my turtle, if y'all want me to do a video on what I'm about to do, which is going to be real, real cool, man. Y'all just stay tuned, man. It, it's going to be really nice. I'm about to get a, no, nah, I ain't gonna tell you, I ain't gonna tell you, I ain't gonna tell you. You, you gotta like this video. If y'all wanna see what tank I'm about to sit up next, y'all need to like this video right now. Comment down below if y'all wanna see some more of my animals, or if y'all wanna make, want me to make any more animal videos, man, y'all just give me y'all suggestions down in the comment section. Y'all make sure y'all like this video, man. Y'all make sure y'all let your folks know what's going on over here, man, because y'all know I'm coming with these little videos, man. Even if, you know, I got to go out on a limb, you know what I'm saying? But we coming with these little videos, man. But, uh, yeah, I just thought I'd let y'all in on a little bit of my passion, man, because animals are my passion, man. So, 
that's it for that video, man. So y'all just make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, share the whole show. Bang, dog. We out.